Hi, my name is Edgar Torres and I'm here to present over the effects of cryogenic treatment on the mechanical properties and the wear resistance of steel alloys. The goal of this presentation is to highlight three different microstructural mechanisms that occur during cryogenic treatments and the effects that they may have on the mechanical properties of steel alloys. These effects depend on the composition of the material, but in general, a longer holding time at cryogenic temperature and the more cycles a material goes through result in more improved mechanical properties. Cryogenic treatment is still a relatively new process and therefore there are three different mechanisms that are theorized and used to explain the different microstructural changes that are seen within a material that undergo cryogenic treatments. The bottom figure shows results of an authentic stainless steel that was cryo-rolled and this explains the first mechanism, reduction of retained austenite. All materials that undergo cryogenic treatments go through the martensitic transformation where retained austenite is still present after the transformation. A reduction of this retained austenite increases the yield strength and tensile strength of the material. As the figure shows, as the percentage increase of martensite increases, the tensile and yield strength also increase while the elongation decreases. The top figure shows SEM images figure A before the cryogenic treatment and figure B after the cryogenic treatment. This shows an increase of carbide precipitates and it's caused by the strain energy associated with the martensitic transformation. As this strain energy increases, carbon atoms are swept by mobile dislocations and form clusters. These clusters are ideal heterogeneous nucleation sites and uh, when the material is allowed to form, uh, warm back up to room temperature, this creates a fine carbide precipitates to form and be uniformly distributed within a material that is being treated. This increases the mechanical properties of the material because it provides obstacles for mobile dislocations. The third mechanism also increases the amount of obstacles for mobile dislocations as the stress and strain state of the material within a material increases. The carbide precipitates increase wear resistance due to the fact that they act as ball bearings during wear and roll instead of slide, decreasing the amount of friction between the two surfaces and decreasing the amount of shear strength, shear stress that the material feel, feels during wear. So that's how the treatments affect the mechanical properties and wear resistance of the materials. Uh, future areas of research are computer simulation to aid in understanding microstructural changes better. I would like to acknowledge all the authors of the papers and Professor White and my classmates. Thank you.